the court system has a poor history when it comes to diagnosing people with mental illness when they don't get their way. This is commonplace in the court systems, and it's a disgrace. In my case, that didn't happen. That's the one thing that all the psychiatrists, the professionals, agreed on was the fact that I was not mentally ill. In fact, all of them said that um, the one thing they were consistent with was telling the judge that they felt that Tiara should be returned immediately to my care. Um, they couldn't agree with the diagnosis. And in fact, the diagnosis that the caseworker, who's not a professional, attempted to have me diagnosed with was debunked quickly. She tried to say I was paranoid, which is a load of duty. Anybody who knows me knows that's not true especially after they smelled me bring a, a, an ounce of marijuana into the courthouse. That's not paranoia. Anyway, my point here is this. It's not just with court people when they don't get their way um, to wrongfully diagnose people with mental illness. It's also a pattern with people within the um, the political scene. When they don't get their way with somebody and they don't like their opinions, they quickly cast them out as being mentally ill. And this is something we need to change because it's a problem. It's sending a bad message to everyone, especially when you've got all these people walking around who are not professionals trying to declare all of these people to be mentally ill just because they don't agree with what they believe in. That alone is a mental illness because they don't agree with me. Now, all of a sudden, I have to be mentally ill. That's something wrong with them, not with me. God blessed us with the ability to be different because he didn't want us to all think the same. He wanted basically a yin and yang so that we all had something to do because it'd be really boring to run around and have everybody be the same. It's a disgrace to people. And it's also one of the reasons that people looted and rioted because of um, wrongful diagnosis within the court system that causes long-term damage and defamation, not just to the people that they, that they falsely accuse of these mental illnesses, but also to the family members and the, which it causes a trickle down effect. Because whatever affects a person also affects their entire family unit. So when these guys are going around making these false diagnoses and these false accusations of people, it hurts everybody. The, and when they're called out, rather than confess and in, admit that they were wrong, they continue forth and try to find new problems to try to accuse people of, which is part of the problem here. Our court system refuses to accept mistakes. And that alone is an issue. When we've got these people who are within the court system who are so steadfast on n never having any mistakes, that's a huge red flag. It's also abusive and neglectful, and it also causes so much harm. And for these people to, in the court system to know that they themselves are causing defamation because they refuse to accept that they are not perfect and make mistakes in their job too, it's devastating to the victims that it happens to. They got mad because I told them I'm a victim of the court and therefore I have PTSD. It's diagnosed. And so I didn't want to go to where I had the main incident that hurt me to my heart. And that was when they put me out of court with a head injury after I reported that I, you know, that all of this had happened. They already had the police reports. They knew it happened. But they were in denial as to the degree that I was injured. And that's not my bad. That's they bad. Because they failed to investigate. I'm not the one that's in denial. The court system is. When you fail to accept accountability, you are the problem. I'm not the one who didn't take responsibility for my actions. But the court insists that everybody does that. They demand 
that you take accountability for your actions, but they themselves are not doing so. That's the hypocrisy that we need to fix within the system. It's okay to be wrong. What the problem is, is not wanting to accept the fact that you're wrong. That's denial. And anytime we have that, we've got a battle. And that's what's going on now because we've got a court system in denial that doesn't want to admit to their own mistakes. And rather than admit to it, they're covering up everything that they possibly can. However, there's people that looked at my background and my history and knew that I wasn't going to allow that to happen, especially when they keep putting my kids in the middle of it. That makes it even more disgraceful. With God's love, God bless America. Have a blessed day. In fact, the badge.